Hey everybody, Deb Tomorrow Realtor here with another new listing. It is gold and slightly icy outside, so my intro is going to be from the indoors, but showing you some still photos because we took these back in September when we knew we were going to be listing this house later. And green leaves and blue skies are sure nice to look at this time of year. So this is 902 South Rogers. It is, to sound cliche, adorable. Uh, it's in historic McDowell Gardens, and it has tons of historic flair, but all kinds of really important and useful updates. It is three bedrooms and two bathrooms. You probably know it if you've driven down Rogers. It's at the corner of Rogers and Dodds, and it's the home with the white picket fence. If you've see, seen it in the spring, the blooms are gorgeous. To me, it looks like a little classic colonial um, and I just, I love the style. So I want to take you inside and take a look. This location is phenomenal too. I just want to mention you are a block from the climbing gym, a couple blocks from Hopscotch and C3 and the Beeline Trail. You can see the courthouse a dome from the balcony that is up on the second floor. You can see the balcony right there and it's a very safe, sturdy balcony. I'm not a fan of balconies. I don't typically go out on them, but we're going to do that and I'm going to show you. So come on inside for a tour. Here we are inside 902 South Rogers. I'm walking in the side door, which is the door that the family typically used. That over here is the front door. Uh, but this is the living room. There's stairs up, little area for coats, and a wood burning fireplace. All the windows have been replaced. There's the view. This is primarily your yard. I'm sorry, that's through the screen. I will open the door. <laughs> um, there isn't really a backyard because of the way the house is situated on the corner. There we go. But it's a very nice sized yard. If you've ever, if you've spent any time in Bloomington at all, you have probably driven by this intersection and seen all the beautiful spring blooms. Living room then opens. I'm going to pan back here one more time. Ceiling fan to a really nice sized dining room. Breakfast bar. All right, now indulge me. When these people bought this house and I represented them, I fell in love with their kitchen counters and I still love them. It's sort of a concrete um, stone composite, but these little green flecks, I just adore it. Very, very solid. Some pot hooks and little shelves over here. Great light in this house too. There are tons and tons of windows in every room. So here's the kitchen. This is one of those touchless faucets that's too fancy for me to know how to work, but you do that and then it, ooh, fancy. This kitchen island stays as well. More cabinets on this side. And then this stove, I'm gonna, I did a separate video to show how long it takes water to boil on this stove because it's an induction cooktop. If you've never cooked with an induction cooktop, it'll uh, give you your life back because it does things a lot quicker. So I'll, uh, I'll put a link in the description to that video. Fridge, shelves up there, cute little shelves here. So this was an addition. Obviously this home was built before there were lots and lots of bathrooms and things like that. This home does have two full bathrooms. One of them is here. And there's your clawfoot tub that everybody wants. This is one of the rooms. This floor and the kitchen floor are fine, but the sellers are offering a $3,500 flooring allowance for one room of carpet, some stairs, and then these room, the, this bathroom and the kitchen if you want to upgrade the flooring. So this is a full bath down here. And then this door is to the basement, which I will show you because it's in really, really good shape, but we'll go upstairs first. I am standing at the top of the stairs now. So there's the stairs, I come up. There's a landing over here uh, is a bathroom that I'm going to wait until the end because it's gorgeous. Three bedrooms. One, two, three bedrooms up here. 
This is one of the rooms with carpeting that sellers are offering that flooring allowance for. We do not know if there's hardwood underneath it. It seems like there would be since everything else up here is hardwood, but the carpet in the seller's time that they've owned the home, they've not pulled the carpet back to see what the condition is. But it is a good sized bedroom with a closet, a few little built-ins. And all of these bedrooms have great light too. Most of them have at least three windows. This is the largest bedroom. It's about 15 by 12. Definitely fit a king size bed in here. Closet. The third bedroom also has a closet, a little bit smaller, but it has this, the balcony. Now I will tell you, I do not care for balconies. I do not care for heights, but this one I feel totally safe on. It is very sturdy. It's in great condition. And I'm gonna see if I can come down here and zoom in so that you can see right there. Where's my finger? Oh, my finger's blurry, sorry, but right there. That's the top of the courthouse. So very cool that you can kind of see out over the rooftops of Bloomington. The sellers said they loved this space because they felt connected with the city, but it was also very private because it was so high up. There's nobody else that's at this high up. <laughs> so that's really cool. Okay, let's go look at this bathroom because that's a really special feature to you. The bathroom was just done in 2020. All the plumbing in the house was redone in 2020. There was a new water heater added in 2020. So tons and tons of um, updates and upgrades. Again, newer windows up here. But this is the bathroom, it's just beautiful. Custom tile, walk-in shower. And the floors are heated. So that's what that, you can see that reading there. Uh, so you can set the temperature for the floors, which I'm telling you, that's a dream. The sellers said they were crushed to be leaving that behind. So. That is the upstairs. We'll take a quick peek at the downstairs basement. All right, this is the basement. I wanna show you the stairs because they are not that steep. They are not that narrow. If you've been in any older homes, especially in this area near downtown Bloomington, this basement stairs can be really scary. I am coming up uh, next week on my one year anniversary of breaking my ankle falling down some stairs at my house. <laughs> um, and so I'm very sensitive to stairs, but these are not scary stairs at all. Uh, but if you wanna hear me clunking around in a boot, watch any of my walkthrough videos from last spring. So this is the basement. Very dry. Laundry's down here. This wall has had structural work done to it. It has been evaluated twice um, after the work had been done. So it was evaluated in 2012 and then it was evaluated again this past fall in 2022 by a structural engineer who said it has not shifted at all since the work has been done certainly not in the last 10 years they take measurements and check it so we've got documentation to show that so this is a basement i think not not really finishable i mean the ceilings aren't super tall but usable space for sure storage um whatever your needs might be this room right here fun story anyone who ever looks at homes in this neighborhood with me hold on there's a light somewhere oh maybe there's not so you can't really see but this is like a cold food cellar kind of thing. Was that the word? You know what I mean. Put your canned goods in here. But originally it was a shower. There is some shower tile up on the ceiling. Sorry, you can't see that. But um, all these old homes were originally just built with bathtubs and not showers. And so they started putting showers in, but they put them in the basement. So there's always a scary shower somewhere. And not really that scary, but this basement is super clean. There's no cobwebs or anything that you're going to walk through. And then this was used as a little workshop. So workbench, requisite vice, and lots of shelving. I'm gonna give you one more view of this beautiful living room. Such a classic Bloomington home. I like, 
I told someone that I thought it looked like a miniature version of the kind of house from the Father of the Bride movie with Steve Martin. It's kind of like a miniature version of that, though it's not small by any means. That was just a really huge house, but that very classic traditional. So if you have any questions, please let me know.